Hello everyone, in this recipe, we're going to secure a simple Spring Boot application with GitHub as the authentication provider by using Spring Security or opt to login feature. The opt to login with GitHub enables users using their existing account at GitHub to log into our Spring Boot application. Okay, as usual, let's go ahead to start of Spring.io. I'm going to use Radio here, but feel free to choose the one that you're familiar with. Spring Boot 3.3.5, we'll name it OAuth Plan Demo. Java 21. For dependencies, we'll need a web and the OAuth client. Okay, let's generate ungifs and open it using your favorite IDE. Here I'm using IntelliJ. As you can see here, we now depend on Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 client and Spring Boot Starter web. Okay, now let's rename our application property to application YAML for readability. But feel free to keep it as it is if you refer to properties. And for dev environment only, we're going to add a login level for our Spring Security to trace. So the file now will end up like this. Next, in order to use GitHub as same as Google in the last video, we need to configure GitHub client registration in application of YAML as well. Now, instead of using Google as the authentication provider, we have to use GitHub in this case and provide the client ID and the client secret, which is pretty simple in GitHub. First, we need to log in to our GitHub. So I'm already here, then we go to setting, and then we move to the developer setting. Here we go into the all of apps. Here we go into create a new all of app. We'll name it all of plan Spring Boot application and the home page. This is the most important thing to make the authorization code flow work without any interruption, the callback URL. This URL is used to redirect user head back to our application. So let's follow the documentation here. So the default redirect URL term is base URL logging or up to code registration ID. So let's copy it. Then here and the base URL will be result to HTTP localhost 8080 because we're going to deploy our Spring Boot application in local, right? And the registration ID here will be the provider. Here is GitHub. Then click register application. And now we're going to have the client ID. Then let's generate the client secret. Confirm. Okay, now we have the client ID and this is the line secret. Let's create environment variables for storing them. Here we go into back to application, edit configuration, and here we are going to enable environment variables. Environment variables, then we're going to have the GitHub client ID, right? What's that? Okay. GitHub client ID and GitHub client secret. So let GitHub client ID equal to this one. And GitHub client secret. Client secret equal to this one. Okay. Light. Let's check it. ID secret. Okay. 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 Now the GitHub iteration is ready. Let's create an API to call to. So I'm going to create a hello controller. Here our application provide a get API at the root path. And we're using authentication principle annotation to get the user info as well. But there's a little differences from the Google provider in the last video, right? With the Google provider, we are using the OIDC user. But here, we are using the OAuth 2 user. As we brought it up in the Google video, since Google supports OpenID Connect, thus we can pass OpenID as a call to get the ID token. GitHub doesn't support OpenID scope. It used traditional authorization code flow 
So in order to get the user info, we have to make another step using the set token to call the user info URI to get the information of the user. Okay, let's keep it short for this recipe and run it to make sure everything works fine. Okay, local hot 8080. We've been redirected to GitHub. And if we take a look at the scope here, so we have the response type is called the client ID and our scope. There's only one scope read user. No open ID like we had in Google, right? That explains why we don't have the ID token. So it's not about, we're not sending the ID token, it's about GitHub doesn't support the scope and ID token. So the default setting of the string doesn't include it. Okay, so I'll redirect URI here, localhost ATAT logging off to code GitHub. Okay, then let's authorize. It's asking for a personal user data Red on link and auto right and here so we have all the information of the user all right now let's add the Google client from the last video to fulfill our application here and don't forget to provide the Google client ID and Google client secret Simple edit configuration environment is Google Client ID and Google Client Secret with some value for example then okay rerun the application now our application supports all of login for both GitHub and Google account okay now let's for example go host ATAT then we can choose GitHub or Google okay GitHub and ban. Okay, that's really much just for this video. I hope you got something new out of it. Thank you so much for taking your time watching this recipe and this series. And as always, see you next time. Happy coding!